hello and happy new year if you're seeing this before new year's today i have um a few errands that i needed to run and i wanted to see if i could get brave enough to actually film in the stores i'm going to we'll see i'm getting a later start than i wanted because of um a lot of different reasons i didn't sleep last night so i got a much later start than i wanted so i'm afraid these places are going to be very busy but we are going to dollar tree and trying to see if we can score some Valentine's Day finds and some organization items that I've seen on TikTok, which always very risky. They go really quickly in my town. And then I'm also going to Home Goods and Target for the same kind of items. I really want to be able to get some organization items and um some valentine's day things target i'm looking for clearance items um more than valentine's day there's a couple of things i would really like i've seen on social media but like i said um we don't really get the super cool stuff or if we do you have to get them super early so anyway we'll see what i can find and um and then i'm hoping to be able to get them done in the house we do have a doctor's appointment today at three, so that might limit some of my activities because my husband will be coming home after the appointment, so I won't be on my own, but he's pretty supportive of all this, so he'll probably try to stay really quiet. So anyway, hopefully I can find some good stuff and not spend too much money so my husband doesn't kill me. So you guys, I was really impressed by all the organizing items that they had today they had so many different colors that i felt like were just different and fresh some lunch containers all kinds of bins i love just how soft the colors were and just really on trend i felt like i ended up picking up quite a few items that i'll show you at the end um for valentine's day i felt like it was pretty typical of what they normally have but I did feel like their quality was really nice. I really liked this one. I'm not 100% sure why I didn't grab it. I might grab it when I go back if they still have it. I did end up purchasing the one with the mason jar. I loved the hearts. They also had, you know, their florals. I'm not a huge fan of their florals, but that's my personal preference. And here's an overview of just some of their hanging items, some really cute things this year. But this is the area that I just, look at these items, you guys, so cute. They are three or $5 instead of $1.25 or $1, but they're so cute. I was just blown away by them. You guys, look at how cute this stuff is. Like, this is Dollar Tree. I know it's $5, but like, this is beautiful. Oh, that's three. I picked up one of these already. Look how sweet. They're like heavy. And these down here. I know it's too early for Easter, but I just, it makes me so happy because this means our baby's going to be here soon. Look how cute this carrot bunch is. Oh my gosh. I think I've hit the jackpot today. So I actually hit the jackpot at Dollar Tree. I almost just want to go back in there and buy more. Um, the cashier told me when I asked her um, when they'd gotten all their stuff, she said they just put it out. So I guess they get trucks on Wednesdays. But I mean, I'm a teacher. I don't normally have Wednesdays off. So that's why I miss it. I am so impressed with what they had, especially the like more expensive section. I got some really cute stuff. And I, I'm like, oh, shoot, I didn't get that egg that I wanted. Oh, no, I may go back. They had just some really pretty Easter stuff that looked so expensive and nice and someone just pulled up next to me so I'm gonna go. So like I was saying I completely scored at Dollar Tree and I only spent $30 on a bunch of stuff I cannot wait to show you but I'm now at Home Goods. I don't have anything super specific I'm looking for except I just want to see what they have. I haven't been in there since Christmas and I'm just curious to see what like Valentine's Day stuff they have. I'm really in the Valentine's spirit this year. I've already put up some stuff from Target. It is just such a gray and rainy day here today um, in Charlotte. Um, I don't live directly in Charlotte. I live somewhere north of Charlotte. But it's just really nasty today and I don't mind. I'm in a good mood today and so excited to see what they've got. So home goods first, then Target. 
<laughs> I was brave enough to film in Dollar Tree because it was not busy. Home Goods looks very busy. So if I do film, I may try to figure out how to do voiceover, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Um, so there might be some like copyright free music instead. So anyway, we will have to see how it goes. And I just still like, I have anxiety. Like I am diagnosed with anxiety. Um, so in Dollar Tree, when I was filming, I had some people like watching me and I was like, it's fine. Um, I'll get used to it. Right? Right. So I'm back home. Um, I wanted to do a kind of informal introduction of our dog. This is, come here. <laughs> Can you chill? He's like, no, no chill. He's laying on top of me and my hall. <laughs> this is our dog. His name is Asher. He is called... Um, a greater Swiss mountain dog. Let's see if I can show you him. Come here. Can you say hi to the camera? Can you say hello? Um, he wants to be next to me all the time. And um, so I may try to see if I can keep him in the video. If not, I will go <clears throat> put him in his room. He has like a whole office is set up for him. Um, and it has like his dog bed and his like food and water and everything in there and all his toys. So every once in a while, if I need to get something done, then, um, I will put him in there. But first I wanted to show you guys what I got at Dollar Tree and at, um, Home Goods. I think I'm going to show you Home Goods first. Um, I am not a huge fan of shopping at Home Goods. Um, I don't really know what it is. I, Ours is not like that busy, but it's busy enough to where I just don't enjoy shopping there. I feel like I'm always dodging people with a cart and I, their staff isn't super friendly and I just find it all very overwhelming and chaotic to shop. So to be honest, it was kind of an uh, experience. I did find a couple things on clearance, but before I show you that, I'll show you what I got um, for Valentine's Day. I only got two things. So yeah, you like the pillow? First off, I got this like one of those like long pillows with the XOXO with the hearts. It's kind of glittery. Um, I was surprised at the price. This one was only $17. Now that I've got it home, I'm thinking I'm gonna put it on my couch and um, I think it's gonna look really cute there. And then put the other heart pillow that I got from Target on our chair back there because it's looking really sad because I took my Christmas stuff off of it. So it's very empty over there. Um, it has kind of like that, um, velvety feel to it. Um, it is very, very soft and our couch is very wide. So I felt like I could use something to kind of, my pillows never look right on this couch. And I don't know if it's because I'm getting the wrong shape or I just got the wrong pillows or whatever. Um, so I'm going to put this on our couch and see how that looks. And then you guys will be able to see it when I do our little house store he's investigating these dollar tree bags he's like what'd you bring home mom what'd you bring i'm on winter break right now he is going to have a very rude awakening when i go back to work i'm gonna ooh, i'm unwrapping things you like paper don't you yes i like to eat it we have a voice for our dog um disclaimer i'm not a huge ray dunn fan but i bought one of her mugs a couple weeks ago and that says soulmate on the outside and it has the matte red on the inside I believe and I love it it's like a great size for me to make my um lattes and like cappuccinos that I make for me and my husband on the weekends so I wanted to get another one it was the only one I have so this one's like um it's not matte it is the shiny shiny pink with the gold heart and I thought it would look very sweet next to the soulmate mug. So my husband can use the soulmate mug and I can use this one. So um, I really liked that. That one was only $5.99. Um, I know that Ray Dunn's kind of going out right now. I just, I don't care. I buy what I like, you know. Speaking of what's going out, um, I don't think gnomes are going anywhere anytime soon. I've hated them since they started coming out, but for some reason, the last couple of times I've been at the store and I've seen gnome things, I'm like, oh, that's so cute. I almost bought a gnome today. 
<sighs> my husband would just lose it. He'd, be, he'd think it was so funny. Um, I did get one um, clearance Christmas item. This uh, soap dispenser I thought was just super darling. It's glittery. Looks like it's snowing. There's a little red car with the tree on it. And I just thought it was so sweet um, and cute. And it was on clearance for $5. It was originally $10. So not a huge clearance item, but it was like one of the only cute things I thought that they had left. So I'm going to wrap this up and put it in my Christmas bins. I didn't find any other good Christmas clearance. And then the last three items that I got from Home Goods are actually for our nursery. We are expecting our first born um, in April. Probably will be March, but we'll see. Um, we're having a baby boy. And so slowly but surely we're getting things for him. They had this on clearance. It's called the On The Go Wipes Dispenser. So it's for um, your diaper bag. And it's like a perfect size. Um, you're being such a good boy. Y'all are going to be hearing this panting in this video. And I'm so sorry. But like if he's happy and he's laying next to me, I'm not going to make him go. Are you just panting for the camera? Are you a panting star? I need to like put the camera lower so I can see him. He looks really cute. But um, we don't have anything like this yet. So practical. But it was on clearance. What was it on clearance for? Five dollars. I don't know what it was originally um they covered that up probably was like eight bucks or something probably not a big clearance item but I saw it these two items I'm actually quite excited for because I think they look really nice um so what I got is I got these two baskets with the handles that have the neutral rainbow on it I love these you guys and it's very soft and fluffy yes do you like them too um, and I got two different sizes. Um, so this is the smaller one, um, compared to the larger one. And I'm just thinking like all the things I could do. I think I'm going to use the bigger one for his laundry basket, y'all. I know it doesn't have a lid, but I couldn't care less. I think it will be great. It's a good size. It'll be easy to take into the laundry room, which is like literally right across from his nursery. It could not be closer. I could probably just chuck his onesies into the laundry room from his <laughs> nursery. Um, but I think I'm going to use the big one for a laundry basket. And I'm not 100% sure about this one. I think I may roll like blankets and stuff or his stuck animals. Um, the little one was on clearance for 13 and the larger one was on clearance for 15. Um, and I just thought they looked way nicer than some of the other things I've seen. And I just, we're doing like a starry night Harry Potter theme, um, and I'm also going to put a few rainbows in there. I don't care if it's a boy. Boys like rainbows too, right? Um, so that's what I got at Home Goods, And I'm really excited to put those things in our home. We'll see how um, it all goes. But I will tell you guys, the best haul is from the Dollar Tree. And like I think I said in the parking lot, the, I asked the cashier when they got all this stuff in. Because I just felt like I never see this cute stuff. And you guys, they had stocked it this morning. And as a teacher, you know, if I were at work, I would never have done it. But I went in there looking for um, organizing stuff and I came out with that and more. So let me show you what I got. I think I'll try to show the organizing first and then the Easter and <laughs> Easter, I know, Easter and Valentine's. If I'm out of breath, I'm in my second trimester pregnancy, almost third. And um, I get out of breath easily, especially when I'm sitting on the floor. So first I found this really nice, just trash can that I'm going to actually put in my classroom. I teach K through eight music and I have a big trash can that I keep up front for the kids, but I want one by my desk for me. And I just thought this goes with some of my other things in my classroom. So I just grabbed that. And then I was specifically looking for these. So these, um, kind of like tubs I want to use in our pantry because the ones I have in there right now just aren't big enough and I feel like I just have things sitting outside of the bins because they're not large enough so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to use my Cricut to label them so it'll say what's in them um, but I got four of these and I kind of wish I'd gotten did I get four? One, two, three, four. yeah I got four of these um and they were just you know the regular dollar a piece I just feel like this is such a good deal it's such a nice size and they seem really sturdy and I've had bins like that from them before and they just last so well. Speaking of bins that I've had before, guys, I have these in my classroom, but different colors. They hold up 
really well. Um, I honestly have no idea where I'm going to put these. I got three of them, but I am in major nesting mode already. So these were also just $1, but they're just so nice and I love the colors they have. I saw another YouTuber's video with all those colors. I was like, mine won't have it. And they did. I did not do a very good job of speaking things into existence. I'm like reaching over my dog to get this stuff. It's really funny. Um, I also got, I thought I've never seen these before. These are super cute. So I got these little drawers. Um, I got the dusty rose color and then this like, it's like a dark subdued mint. Um, and I think I'm going to put one of these on my desk and I think I'm going to put one of them in the baby's room. So this one will go on my desk and this one will go in the baby's room. I'm thinking I might put like just little tiny items of his somewhere. I'm sure I'll find a way to use those. And then the other, other only, only other two organization items. I'm sure I cannot speak English. Ooh, he's like, I already knew that mom. <sighs> Reaching's harder too. <laughs> You guys are being like, this girl's crazy. I'm never watching her videos again. At least I'm keeping it real. Um, so I've never seen these before. I'm sure they've had them forever. <clears throat> but they almost look like tackle boxes, but they don't, they don't have a little compartments, which is fine. They have these, um, so it has a handle and then it has the clips on the side. And I was just kind of thinking, uh, I may put like, I don't know how, I don't know if it's big enough now that I'm looking at it. In my head, when I was in the store, I was thinking, oh, you know, I can use these to store like documents and like pictures and stuff. <sighs> like the gray one for me and the pink one for my husband. I mean, the gray one for my, <sighs> gray one for my husband and the pink one for me. I mean, he doesn't care about colors. He wears pink, but like, just so we could differentiate. Um, so I got two of those. I'll let you know if I actually use those. Um, for Valentine's Day, I did find a couple items. Um, as you can see, they had some really cute items. I was really impressed. Um, I got this little hanging art piece that says love. I don't think I'm going to hang it. I think I'm actually going to put it in my kitchen, um, in front of my backsplash. I'll show you guys how I style that, hopefully. Oh, I got this for my classroom. I'm going to hang this outside my classroom door. Isn't this slothy so cute? My students are going to love sloth, this sloth, because they love sloths in general. And he, she, or he or she, they look so cute with the little red heart and it has like the little string on the top to hang it. <clears throat> I already have some Valentine's Day decor for my classroom, so I'll just add that to my collection. Um, another item that I got is one that I've seen another YouTuber talk about and I was really excited when I saw it, is this heart that you can hang up. Where are you going? Are you bored? Are you bored? I mean, it's okay if you're bored. I'd be bored too if I were you. What's he doing? No, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can see what you were doing here. Come over here. Lay down. He's like, okay, I will. Come on, lay down. <clears throat> oh, life with a 120 pound dog. <clears throat> they had this in a couple of different colors. And what this YouTuber said, I can't remember her name. If I can find her, I'll link her down below. But. She said she was going to like hot glue a clothespin and put a picture there and she did with her husband. It was so cute. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hot glue a clothespin on this heart and I'm going to put a selfie of me and my husband. I'm gonna hang it up. I think that's just such a sweet idea. I would never have bought this. Um, hello, can I help you? So I'm gonna hang a picture with my husband there. Um, that's all I got for Valentine's Day. Oh, wait, no, I did get one more thing. I got this little letter. And what I think I'm going to do with this, it's like an envelope. Super cute. I'm either going to hang this in my classroom or I'm going to use it as a part of a game that I have. I'm a music teacher, so there's a song called Ida Red. Um, or Down the Road and Across the Creek. And it's a passing game. So this would be perfect because they're talking about a letter. It's not really a not a passing game kids have to like grab the letter and I think this would add to the realism of it I'm going to do that song in January and February um <clears throat> one super random item I got is this little um craft rainbow I thought was super sweet apparently I guess it has like a light in it I didn't even realize that but I guess you may have to put like a button battery in it I can't tell I'll have to ask my husband but 
Um, I'm going to paint this or I may just paint it white. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to put this in the nursery. And the last two things I got, the thing that I was the most excited about besides all the storage stuff was their Easter collection. Now, so the Easter collection was in their area that's like extra items where it's like $3, $5, whatever. Guys, I was so impressed with their Easter stuff. I may go back and get more. I only got two things and I forgot one of the items that I really wanted. Look at this little bunny. Is he not the cutest? He's heavy, like not, I think it's made of, I don't think he's made of glass, $5. I just, I'm, I don't know. Some Easter stuff is just so hideous. But look at how sweet he is. Look at his little eyes. He's so cute. I can't wait to put this out. Um, I couldn't believe I was buying Easter stuff. But I was like, if I don't buy it, they're going to be out. And then I love carrot decor for Easter. They have this little welcome sign that I'm going to hang either on my front door or in front of it. I just freaking love this. Like, oh. And this was $3. Does this look like it would cost $3? It's huge. Like, it's like bigger than <laughs> It's like bigger than my head. Isn't it big? So anyway, that's all I got at Dollar Tree and Home Goods. Um, I made you sit through my dog's panting more than I should have. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, yeah, hopefully I can put it all together. And it's not the worst video in the whole world. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.